Hello, Possum Strainer Smith here. Alpha Craft in the nether. Oh, coming back from finishing the Temple of the Wither King. And I am so glad to be getting out of here. It's been good, but I've got things I need to do back home. So, things to do. Oh, oh, we've got a bakery delivery. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. JC took some of my overflow dirt from behind the XP factory and she's given me a box of biscuits for the bakery in this place. Which, JC, you don't have to do. You're doing me a favour getting rid of that dirt. But, wow, thank you so much. So, let's put the biscuits in the bakery. Oh, and let's look at this. I've been dying to see this. I have been waiting and waiting to look at this until you're all with me. This is Piggy's plane. This is how he delivered back the cobwebs that I made the sign at his base with. Pigglesworth, you didn't have to. You really didn't have to. But I'm so glad you did. <gasps> Pigglesworth. Bigglesworth. Oh my goodness. We shouldn't be calling him Piggy. We should be calling him Piggles. <gasps> oh my goodness. And we've got Ginger Ninja. So we've got Biggles and... We've got Piggles and Ginger. <laughs> but I do actually happen to know that up in that plane is a little pig. So we've got a Porco Rosso flying over our base. I love it. It's staying. And it's Eat It Mel's, or as he said, Meat It Mel's. Advertising Mel's Butchers. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's staying. What ho, Piggles? <laughs> Let's put these biscuits away. No, uh, this one, this one. And these are the sharing is caring biggies. Woohoo! <laughs> ah, I am so lucky to play with such lovely people. Okay, today. Right, I've cleaned up the blaze farm. I've got all the boxes out. But the boxes have presented their own problem. I'm going to show you. Let's come around here. Oh, 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 and, and, and. <gasps> Look how lucky I am. There's Cookie. Whoops, can we get up? Yes, we can. Mwah! Welcome, Cookie. I hope you and Snickerdoodle are very happy together. I have to find a better place for you guys. Oh, maybe you should go and live in the flat above the bakery. That would be perfect. I'll work it out. I'll work it out. We'll, we'll get you moved in somewhere much more comfortable, both of you. Anyway, up here. Anyway, up here, fish storage. And, Stina, if you haven't come and got the cob and the clayfish, I've got lots of colours for you to choose from. Feel free to come and take what you want. But this, nine double chests, one single chest, full of nether brick. Just chockers. Uh, one of them's got... No, don't open the same one twice. Oh, love doing that. One of them's got a fair bit of nether brick fence, but this is a storage issue. I can't have this like this. I can't see what's going on with the farms. Or with the machinery. I need to see what's going on with the machinery. So we need to build a new storage building. Now, back in March, when everyone started having to be indoors, I did a little video about what to do when you're stuck at home. And one of the things that I did was a bit of gardening. I cleared all the trees out of this area. And I cleared it because I thought I was going to build a cement works here. Turns out I'm not going to build a cement works at all. I'm going to build a brickworks. It's going to be a kiln, and up here there's going to be a clay mill. So that is what we're going to get started on today. I don't know if I'll get it finished. Depends how long it takes. I've still got to get some materials together. But we're going to start on the kiln at the very least. So I'm going to go grab some stuff, and we're going to get building. You know me. <laughs> between when I last spoke to you and now, I've done research, yay! 
and I found the most amazing, efficient brick kiln which was painted in 1858 by Herr Hoffmann. It is the Hoffmann brick kiln, not surprisingly, and it is still being built and used for brick firing today. So of course I decided to build a Hoffman brick kiln. Did I take into account that my finished design is 46 blocks by 20? No. <laughs> Have I found this one spot where it fits? Yes. <laughs> Have I now got to dig out a lot of this? Yes. And the clay mill is going to have to go over there, which actually makes a lot more sense because it's next to a pond. So it all works out. But <laughs> now I have to do a whole lot of digging. Oh, plus, plus, plus. I decided this wouldn't just be for storage. No, no, no. No, let's actually make a large industrial build that has a point beyond being cosmetic. Woohoo! This is going to be a super smelter as well as storage as well as looking like a Hoffman brick kiln. So I'm going to go and grab a shovel and I am going to dig out a whole lot of this. Ah, JC, you need more dirt overflow. You're going to get it. <laughs> I'll grab a shovel. Much bigger job than I anticipated. <laughs> ah dear, but it's done now. So what have I got to do? Now I have to put in the super smelter. Once that's in, then I can build everything around it. I'm building cub fan super smelter or a little variation thereof. Uh, I need lots of rail. Hopefully I've got enough. I don't think I have enough levers, but levers are easy to make. Right, so this is the middle. Now, um, how do I do this? That's the front over there. I'm standing at the back. One, two, three, four. No. These come out. They go in. This comes out. Okay, one, two, three, four. And then two at each end. And now I start putting in the furnace array. So I need another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God, I hope this build isn't too big. Oh, a bit late now. One, two, three, and we'll leave that one. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we can put that one in now. Building this in creative, I found it was much, much easier to construct all the redstone before I built anything around it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be right, yep. Oh look, I'm not finished digging. Well, here's the start of the super smelter. I've got all the rails in. That was fun because it's pointing the wrong way and we're still in 114.4 so it still matters. Ha <laughs> ha. But I've got all the rails set up. I've got the furnaces and the hoppers set up. Now I've just got to do the redstone and put the carts in. Yee. So we're going to put in a double chest there and I'm doing this in what looks like the wrong order because 
it's easier to work from the ground up. If you want to know exactly what I'm doing and how this works. Oh, I need a redstone lamp. Have I got one? Yes, I do. Go take a look at Cub's um, video. There is a link in the description. And he'll explain all of this beautifully. But if I now put something in the chest, haha, the light comes on. Yay. And I want to take out this. I am going to be putting a slab floor in the kiln, just not right now. That there. And if we put a lever there, we can turn that off. And we have to put a lever there. And our redstone lamp there. So if we come up here and I turn this on, those are powered up, that's on. Yay. Oh, that has taken long enough. And this one goes in there. All right, let's turn it on, see if it runs. Uh, that should go all the way round. And it should come all the way back. And because I've turned it off, it should stop there. Yay! This is a little different from Cubs because I've got it as a complete circuit and his just goes backwards and forwards. But I mean, it was a. S it's not that big a difference. That one will come back first. Just turn it off so they stop when they come up here. There we go, that's all running, yeah hey! We can get rid of this. And now, <laughs> now I build this thing. Huh. That's a big job. Let's do it as a time lapse. It's almost done. Uh, I'm gonna spawn proof the roof. I'm not gonna get this completely finished today. I have to go to the end to get some more end stone to make end brick to line the floors on the inside. I've got to make a whole lot of chests and I have to actually finish the upper room 
and I need to go and get materials for that too and I am running out of time <laughs> oh, I wish I had all the time in the world but I don't I've still got everyone home I'm still sharing the study so I grab what time I can I've had the luxury of time today but there it is it's all gone and I have not got enough stone with me to spawn proof this and pressure plates are a great way to spawn proof a slab roof and I did a video about spawn proofing it's not exhaustive I've missed out a few things like leaves and glass but there's a few interesting things listed there'll be a card on the screen for that little connection now in the meantime I'm just going to do what I can of this so there we are that's as finished as I can get at this episode I will finish it off oh, I don't know maybe between and just show you because all I've got to do is put a floor in for there and put some wooden beams in and then it's done and get the floor done here but as I said that involves going to the end and getting end stone and oh, I don't know what to do with this if it becomes a problem I'll destroy it otherwise I'll just leave it under the floor we'll see how it goes but that's it one super smelter which we will have to christen at some point and one brick kiln if I can get out and lots of chests to make one Hoffman brick kiln that's it oh. <laughs> I'm finished but if you're not finished, there's cards on the end screen to some more of my videos, so you can keep watching. I'm going to go have a cup of tea and check out all the alphas, and I'll see you next time. Bye!